right now in Moorhead City, North Carolina, our boat is facing 60 degrees, which is east-northeast. Looking at the magnetic compass, and I want to show you some things that you need to be aware of. All of the stuff that we have sitting up there on the dashboard, all day long, the compass, the magnetic compass, never agreed with the GPS compass. And we figured out why. Look at this. So you can see we swing from 60 degrees to somewhere around 120 degrees. And let's put that over there. Look at it go again. This compass is crazy, but it's not the compass fault. Inside of this bag, there are a lot of small little flashlights with batteries in them. And they were just sitting up here all day long. And we had discussions for the entire trip. Why does the GPS compass not agree with the magnetic compass. So it's real simple. Things like these flashlight batteries, cell phones, handheld radios, anything with microphones, anything with speakers, anything with a lot of battery power in it can disrupt the magnetic north in a magnetic compass. So if your compass doesn't agree with your GPS or with your autopilot compass, try to pull all the stuff away from the magnetic compass. I'm not going to guarantee they will match exactly, but if they're somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 degrees separation between one compass and the other compass, that should be okay. The reason 15 degrees differential might be okay is this compass is not adjusted or a compass card has not been designed for this compass and your autopilot compass, when the, ins the installation technician did the three and a half circles with the boat, he was swinging the compass for the autopilot installation. He was not swinging the compass for the magnetic compass. That takes a different person with a different skill. So that's why I'm saying if your magnetic compass, your autopilot compass, and your GPS compass or somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 degrees apart, I'm going to say that's normal. It's not the best world, but it's normal. If you have any questions about cruising, navigating, or you just want to get out on the water, check out our training videos. Ask Captain Chris.